What's up guys? Today we're gonna go ahead and wash these wheels. We're gonna get them ready for paint. So I brought with me just a little bit of uh, dish soap just to remove all the grease and whatever dirt and grime it has. And I also brought a scuff pad. Uh, this I'm gonna use around the lip. I'm gonna try to do like a brushed aluminum look to them. So I'll show you the paint once I'm done washing and taping. So for now, let me just uh, set up so I can put some soap and just start washing. Alright, so the wheels are already washed. Uh, you can tell on some of them where the paint actually came off with the little scrubbing pad. And the lip just stayed a little bit cleaner. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to polish this because I don't have any chrome in the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and wait till the morning to just uh, wipe these off and tape them. Since right now the sun is already going down so I don't want to paint right now. So I'm just going to do that till the morning, but they're already washed, it gives them a chance to dry fully and um, I guess we'll just continue in the morning. Alright guys, we're back and check it out, I already went ahead and taped, taped the wheels and just uh, put paper around the tires and I also brought some old tires that I had just to use as a little table, uh, that way I can walk around the wheel just make sure I paint everything. Uh, so the color I brought is a Morning Waterfall by Rustolium, of course, and this one is Paint and Primer. So yeah, this is going to be a whole Rustolium car. So anyways, we're ready. We're ready to start painting. So I guess let's just let's just start. Okay, so this is the first base coat. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes right here in the sun so it can like, dry out. And I'll give it a second pass. Uh, so far, I like the color. This uh, this paint has this paint and primer, so it covers pretty well. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't like Rustolian paints, but I definitely do not have a problem with it. Uh, it's a cheap paint job on the budget, so that's what we're doing. So right now we're just going to go ahead and put the first wheel back over here on top so we can give it a second coat. This is the second, third, and right now I'll just go ahead and line them up so I don't get confused. So yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and keep going.
All right, guys. So I left the wheels under the sun all day. Right now, I just took off the the paper, and this is what they look like. Here's one right here in the sun. It's a pretty nice uh, sky blue, baby blue color. Um, I like them. So right now, I'll just go ahead and take them over there closer to the car. And once I install them, I'll show you what the car looks like with the wheels on. And also, I'll give you like a pretty good update on what I've done to the car so far. Alright guys, so I pretty much painted the wheels this morning and I left them out in the sun to dry. Uh, right now, I already have them installed, so I'm going to show you what they look like. And I'm going to just do like a quick update of what I've done to the car so far. So, just keep in mind, everything that I've done to the car has been on a budget. And on a budget, this has been not even close to 100 bucks. This is more like 50, 60 bucks, give or take. So, check out this transformation. All right guys, so check it out. Here are the wheels. And take this tripod out of the way. So, there's a car. Uh, I haven't wet sand or polished it. I've been doing right here the hood. I just did it with the 1200 grit. And I know 1200 is still a little bit coarse. Uh, so you can still see some scratches. So I'm gonna go at it with the 2000 grit and then I'll be able to polish. If there's some time at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and just polish the hood so I can show you guys. But right now I just wanted to put the wheels so I can show you the color and what the car looks like. Check this one out right here in the sun before it goes down. This is the morning waterfall and the gray is the smoke gray. So yeah, as you can see, the body has a bit of damage. The bumper lost a few brackets on the inside, so I had to rivet uh, some brackets so I can bolt it back on. And it's also warped. And the trunk itself, uh, it's been rear-ended, so that's what I was able to fix on my own. If I wanted to throw a fancy paint job, spend two, three hundred dollars on a nice base coat clear, I wouldn't feel comfortable throwing new paint on these parts like the condition on these parts so I was gonna if I did that I was gonna have to like put a new bumper and a new trunk and like I said this is all in a budget on the paint if you guys remember on one of my videos I bought the paint for eight something let's just say nine dollars a quart I, I used two quarts of gray on the on the car and then one of black on the roof and the hood so that's 27 bucks I spent uh, about 10 bucks on the two cans of Morning Waterfall. It's also Rustoleum. So it's $37. A little update on the car, what I've done to it. Uh, put the, the windows back on with their own little weather strip. Uh, I painted this, this little door pod thing on the inside the weather strip around the car around the door I put it back on got the door jams uh, what else have I done to it put some clips I I don't know if I should paint this roof rail black the same as the door things that I painted semi gloss with Rustoleum professional uh, so the roof rail I'm thinking either black or just use a little bit of blue but I don't want to put a lot of blue 
The next thing that I'm going to paint is just the mirrors. They're so small, so I want to put those mirrors blue. And that's about it. <coughs> that's about it on the blue. Uh, <coughs> anyway, so other than that, like I put the whole front end back on the car. The fenders, the hood, the bumper. Um, I put this little garden edging on the bottom. I put that back on. I haven't put the one on the sides or the back bumper. Like I said, I don't know what, I, what to do with those. I might put them back on, but we'll see. So, for right now, leave me some comments, guys. Tell me what you guys think about the paint. I mean, I've read, I've read a lot of you guys uh, hate on the Rust-Oleum. I don't know why, but I don't have a problem with it. I, in fact, I, I like the paint. Um, here is one of the fenders. What's up? And as I said. I already sanded the hood with the 1200 grit, but I still need to do it with the 2000, and then I'll polish it. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video. Leave me some comments. Uh, the tail, the tail lights, and the door handles. I haven't installed them. This little part for the license plate. I'm gonna paint that black as well. Uh, the tail lights. You know what I was thinking? Not the tail lights. Those side markers. Um, right here the front parking lights and the headlights I was thinking of getting some light smoke tint just light just enough to like smoke them out a bit there was some plasti dip that is used for headlights or tail lights so you can smoke them but I didn't find it so I'm still gonna keep an eye out on that one it's plasti dip if I don't like it I could just peel it or the vinyl wrap um, some light tint that way I could just tint the, the headlights and possibly the tail lights also but <clears throat> that's it guys I'll leave you with that view leave me some comments tell me what you guys think and that's it I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching peace out